Hello everyone and welcome back to KB Ants. This is going to be another tutorial video uh, on how to move ants from one test tube to another. Um, yet again this video is made in association with theantlady.co.uk um, for you know the best prices and the best queen ants go over to a website. I'll link it in the description below. So here we go with the video. Right, it's pretty simple but uh, for any beginners out there um, struggling on how to do it, the easiest ways to do it and the best ways to do it. So I'm going to try and explain it all here now. Also with this, um, you can also use some of these tips for moving your ants from a test tube to a formicarium, rather from test tube to test tube. Um, I'll probably do another in-depth video on test tube to formicarium in the future. So um, yeah, so the, there's many ways you can do it. Um, None of them are really wrong, um, there's some that are easier than others. The easiest way I've found is just to get yourself a bit of blue tack, or in this case pink tack. Thank you to the girlfriend. <laughs> right, um, yeah, all you'd use with this is just basically put it around the rim of the test tube. Just like that. And then you just put it together. make sure there's a strong seal and then obviously you wait for them to move over um, so that's one of the ways you can do it or you can do it this way which is a bit more fiddly where it works as well and the added bonus we're doing it this way is that because we're using a bit of hose that you probably get when you buy a form of or anything like that and you basically just pour it through the cotton to try and make it so it's like a hole in the cotton poking through and then you just stuff it into one end of it into one test tube and then the other into the other end just like that and just make sure it's obviously a tight seal um, the bonus to doing it this way is that because there's cotton there it will mean that the um, the test tube can still breathe so you're still getting fresh oxygen to it I mean, doing it the way with the blue tack, um, obviously you won't be getting fresh oxygen all the time into the uh, test tube, but um, it won't matter. Obviously the amount of oxygen that the ants themselves will use up, you, you know, you've got plenty of time to do it before the move into the other test tube. Sometimes moving ants from test tube to test tube can be um, a little time consuming, because sometimes depending on the species, sometimes they can move really, really quickly or really, really slowly. I mean, it can take from minutes to hours to days. Um, most of the time when I've done it with my ant colonies, um, it normally takes probably around um, two hours, something like that, for them to move, which is probably about standard, to be fair. Um, also, when it regards to species of ant, if they're a hot temperature loving species, Say so if you've got your ants in this test tube and um, you want them to move into another one, what you'd do if, the, if they're on like a, a heat cable or anything like that, you'd take away the heat um, and then put the heat under the test tube that you want them to move into. Then also cover the test tube that you want them to move into so it's nice and dark and keep this one light. Um, I'd rub like a torch shining on it or something like that because the queen doesn't like it, they like to be in the darkness, so that will make them want to move. Um, so that's one of the ways you can do it. Um, another way that I've heard people do it, personally I've never used it myself, just because there's a little added risk. Um, you can heat up the test tube, which the ants are in, a bit hotter than they like. Um, that way, obviously it'll make them feel uncomfortable and want to move to the test tube that you want them to move into. So that's one way of doing it, but that way you'd have to keep a very close eye on the temperature because you don't want it to get too hot because some queens are very, very stubborn. Um, and if you do heat the test tube to get them to move, they might stay in there and you might essentially cook your queen and obviously nobody wants to do that. Um, so yeah, that's why I don't do it. But if you're careful, it does work for them really stubborn ones that don't want to move into a new test tube. Um, yeah, so all you basically when I do it, 
me personally, I use the Brie Tap method just because it's quick, easy, um, and then when they have moved, it's easy enough to just take apart and put your cotton in um, the test tube that they're in. Um, it's just very convenient, I think. All you do is get your centerpiece to the Brie Tap, wrap it around, put the test tubes together, and then that's it, you're done. And then it's just a waiting game and waiting on when the ants will actually move. Um, I think that's everything you need to know. Um, actually, there is one other method I forgot to mention. You can use sellotape. Also, a quick and easy method. I've never done it, but I've heard people do it. Um, so basically, you just put your test tubes there like that and sellotape them together. If you leave a tiny little gap as well, you can get um, a little pin and put some pinholes in the sellotape. Not big enough so the ants can get out, but big enough so that air can get in. So you ain't got to worry about that. Um, so that's another method, and then these three methods, the sellotape, the blue tack and the tubing, um, are all effective in their own way, and both, all of them have different um, positives and negatives, so it's just down to you to decide which you think will be um, ideal for you and, and what you actually got at home. Some people don't have tube, um, and most people have the cotton if you keep keeping ants, um, and blue tack you can buy pretty much anywhere. So. If you want to do it that way, it's pretty easy to get your hands on boot tag. Um, so yeah, um, it's just all down to personal preference and which method you use. Um, there's also one other, um, you can buy a special, specially made um, test tube to test tube adapters that um, some retailers sell, um, and keeping retailers. Um, so a lot of them do their own take on it, so you can get them. I haven't got any of them in it, and I'd love to get one, to be honest, it would make it very easy. And that's just basically a connector, where you connect them together. And, and a lot of them do have um, built-in ventilation, so that's a, a, a bonus as well. I think it's ideal for every ant keeper to have one, to be honest. I'm just a bit slow on getting one, I do need to get one, to be honest. Um, yeah, so that's it for this. Um, I'll give you a quick update on, on upcoming videos. Um, I've just recently got um, two new um, Chromatogaster um, species of ants, queens. Um, I've got one Scutellaris and Uberti. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing a video on them soon. Um, probably care videos for both of the types of Chromatogaster. Um, they'll be pretty similar to um, from Scott Loris to Uberti, so um, yeah, there's that to look forward to. Um, I got them queens from um, the antlady.co.uk as well, so um, like I said, um, there's no other better um, queen ant retailer to go to, to be honest. Um, so if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe, it would be much appreciated. Um, a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't, um, please uh, leave a comment um, if you like the video or if you've got any ideas for future videos that you'd want to see or any constructive criticism, I'll take it all on board and try and make my videos better for all you guys watching. Um, so thanks again for everyone who subscribed, you're amazing. Um, I never thought I'd get this much support when I started this YouTube channel. Um, so I hope to see you again next time guys, see you later, thank you for watching.